Number 10. A colony with 1920 insects is doubling every 10 days. We have three questions related to this information. How many insects were there 40 days ago? How many insects will be there in 20 days? How many will, how long will it take them to be 491520? So first part is to write down the equation and then we'll look into the solution of part A, B and C. So we're given a colony with 1920 insects which is doubling every 10 days. So the initial amount is 1920, right? And the doubling period D is 10 days. So we could write at any instance of time A will be equals to the initial amount times 2 to the power of T over D, right? So that is the formula. We know these two values, so I could write A as equals to 1920 2 to the power of T over doubling time is 10. Is that clear to you? So that becomes the equation. So we are always going to work with this particular equation. So the first question is, how many insects were there 40 days ago? Now 40 days ago means uh, uh, time is minus 40. Is that clear to you? 40 days ago, right? So, so part A, T is equals to minus 40. So we have to find the value of A. So A will be 1920, 2 to the power of minus 40 over 10. Okay? So which is equal to 1920, 2 to the power of minus 4. Right? So we have to divide this by 16 to get our answer. Is that okay? So let's do it using the calculator. So we have 1920 divided by 16. 2 to the power of 4 is 16, so we get 120 as our answer. All right. So you could do like this, or you could say 1920 times, like written here, 2, right, to the power of minus 4, minus 4, right? So that also gives you 120. The same answer. Perfect. So that is how you could find the answer for part A. Okay. Now let's do part B, which is how many insects will be there in 20 days? So we'll just replace uh, T with 20 now. So for part B, we have A equals to 1920, 2 to the power of 20 over 10. So that is 1920 times 2 to the power of 2, which is 4, right? So 1920 times 4, right? So we can just multiply by 4 and get our answer. So 1920 times 4, 7680. Now let's look into part C, which is how long will it take them to be so much? So that is the final value. We need to find time now. So we get 491520 equals to 1920, 2 to the power of t over 10. Okay? So the first step is, let's divide 491520 by 1920. We get 2 to the power of t over 10. So let's do this and see what do we get. We get 491520 divided by 1920 and that gives you 256. 2 to the power of t over 10. Now in this case, 256 can be written as a power of 2, right? So you could write 256 as 2 to the power of what? Well, 2 to the power of 10 is 1020, right? So Half of that will be 9, this is 8. Let's check. So we have 2 to the power of 8, which is 256, right? So we can write this as 2 to the power of 8 equals to 2 to the power of t over 10. So that means 8 is equals to t over 10. So 8t is equal to t. Is it okay? So that in 80 days, so the answer is in 80 days. So in 80 days, that is the solution. They will be 49, 
491520. Is that correct? Right. So that is how you are going to solve it. Now, since this was a good number to work with, you could find the solution. Otherwise, we may use logarithms to find this solution, right? So that is important to understand. Okay. Now, here is the last question of our test paper, question number 11. Population of a city increased from 2.4 million to 4.8 million in 20 years. At what rate is the population of the city growing? So we can say our initial population A0 is 2.4 million. Now the, the final population we are looking at is 4.8 million, right? Kind of double, right? And the time taken to double this was 20 years. So we need to find at what rate is the population of the city growing? So right, that is what we need to figure out. So we can always use our formula, which is uh, A equals to A0. Now it is growing, so 1 plus the growth rate R to the power of T. Is that clear to you, right? Where R is growth rate. Right? Normally, 1 plus R is called growth factor. In this case, we are interested in growth rate, right? So we'll just substitute the values given to us and then calculate R. And we could write this R in decimals or in percent, right? So substituting, we get 4.8 equals to 2.4, right? Million, million cancel. And we have 1 plus R to the power of 20. So we have 4.8 over 2.4 equals to 1 plus R to the power of 20 which is 2, right? So 2 to the power 20th root is 1 plus r. So the value of r is basically uh, 20th root of 2 minus 1, correct? So let's do this. So we have uh, 2 to the power of 1 by 20, I can write, correct? And then from there, we'll take away 1. So we get 0 0.0352 equals to R, right? So, so that is the growth rate. So normally it is written in percent, right? So, so uh, growth rate we could write as 0 0.0352 times 100, which is 3.5 percent. Is that clear to you? So that is how we could write the growth rate. And that brings us to the end of our test paper. So let me thank once again all the students for sharing their test papers with me. And uh, I hope you learned a lot. So we actually did a couple of questions, uh, 11 of them. And I hope that helps for you to review all the concepts. Feel free to write a comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.